Hi and hello! We're D2E and you're... You. Close. For you. <laughs> <laughs> Further away, you're cold. And uh, this is more E3 nonsense, the Upload VR Showcase. Uh, Alright. So I guess we'll start off. They, uh... This was a weird kind of presentation. We don't usually watch these, like, kind of things, but we've just been watching almost everything lately. We're doing it all! <laughs> um, it's killing us! <laughs> It's killing you. It's going to kill me. That's true. Um, so right now we have uh, Fract. Uh, the, they start with the uh, slopes. They oh, were, yeah. Yeah, the game where you were skiing and then they were shooting thing and you had to get on the funicular. <laughs> I just really like the word funicular. It was Borderlands-esque. Uh, you described it as try hard, but it looked okay to play. Yeah. I just thought the writing was weak. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, next we had uh, Larsenauts, where you <laughs> got a new character for that game, which we've never played. Never so heard of it. Big alien thing. It was okay. It looked all right. Yeah. Um, okay. Natural Magic, Waltz of the ah, Wizard. This one like had fun gameplay where you're like casting spells and shit, but like the I don't know the presentation, the voice acting, the writing, even like how it looks just didn't vibe right with me. We can't take down J.K. Rowling with this kind of effort. <laughs> Next we have uh, Song in the Smoke. That was that, that was... nature one. Yeah, that was weird. Um, I... Jen's into it. I wasn't against it, just... Yeah, okay. Sure looked like a game. I've seen it before. Um, against, which was... <sighs> Beat Saber, except you're the guy from Nightshade. <laughs> yes, I have no, nothing to add. Go on. All right, Eternal Starlight. I don't remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it's been 40 years since we watched these. Don't worry, you won't like it either. Um, Samurai Slaughterhouse. I didn't like that one. Yeah, it... it... Needlessly, like, violent, kind of... It just didn't click with me. Yeah, it was... It, it didn't look fun. It was all right. Um, Smash Drums. That oh, yeah, it's Beat Saber with drums. and I like drums. I'm into it. I think it's kind of cool. Um, then we had Puzzle Bobble 3D. Holy crap! It's that the 35th just... anniversary of Bub! But also, that was strange. Because, like, Puzzle Bobble, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I love Bubble Bobble. Mm. The Puzzle Bobble franchise is kind of fun, you know. You, do you like them? Yeah, they're pretty good. But this was like 3D map, and you're like rotating it, and then you're just throwing the ball into it, and just watching it. <sighs> okay! Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see, next. It was nice to see like bright colors. Yeah. Unplugged, uh, VR air guitar. For more, for more game previews, <laughs> you can stay tuned to our YouTube channel. Um, oh, final, uh, my favorite of the Upload VR, Sam and Max. This time it's virtual. I like escape rooms. I love Sam and Max. I I'm in. I'm there. It was charming. It was very, very cute, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm there. Um, in the hoop. This was just NBA like Papa Shot. But, like you go to the arcade, you shoot hoops. Yeah. But you could use your bare hands. That was part of the uh, subtitle. And its trailer was remarkably entertaining. Yeah, that was a really just solid trailer. It had the good, you know, of the guy in VR and then the guy out of VR. They had a really good uh, way to stitch that I together. I still don't want to play it because, like, even holding my hands like this to shoot an imaginary basketball, like, just doesn't seem fun. <laughs> How big's basketball? <laughs> <laughs> that big. That big. Next we have... Pistol Whip. Uh, they uh, John Wick rhythm shooter thing, and they over-explained some new features. Yeah, there's some new features with dynamic difficulty and some challenge and leaderboards. It looks neat. Uh, Pistol Whip is one of those games that if you are into it, you are very into it. So, good features. Uh, rhythm of the Universe. Uh, crossover with the Wildlife Warriors Foundation. That was a crazy trailer because it was so flashy and weird. And then Steve Irwin's family, and then 
And then nothing. Then nothing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what Rhythm of the Universe even is, and I, uh, we got more games to talk about. Uh, I Expect You to Die, Part 2. Yeah. Um, Funny James Bond-inspired goofy game. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I like it. I think it's cool. Yeah, um it's cute. Blockbuster VR, that kaiju game. <laughs> I was like... Man, you get to be in an actual blockbuster in <laughs> VR? That sounds awesome! I'm gonna go over and rent a movie! And then I was like, wait a minute. We didn't see that. No, no, that was not a thing we saw. All right, next. Um, sushi Ben VR. That was kind of cool. Yeah. You help a sushi restaurant by recruiting people to go eat there in a wacky story adventure game. For whatever reason, I kept thinking of Shenmue. Okay. Yeah, just the part where you're wandering around the town. I'm looking for some sushi pastry. Yeah. Uh, sentenced, a game where you execute people in first person. <coughs> Yay. <laughs> Sweet Surrender, uh, that roguelike shooter game. Mm -hmm. Windlands 2. I like Windlands. That was cool. That it was looks, like that looks really cool. Zelda but... Adventure, and you had your bow, and, and you're using your grapple gun, and you're like <laughs> spider man in your way across the fantasy world. That looked really fun. Yeah. Traffic jams. That looked insane. <laughs> it's like you're a traffic cop. Also, everything just throwing at you in this wacky world with weird cutesy graphics. I, I, what about what if burnout? Was, but you didn't control anything. <laughs> that was overwhelming. There was a lot going on there. Um, Green Hell VR. What a name. That it was weird nature simulator. Except everything wants to kill you. Yeah, it was a survival game. She's like bandaging her gross arm at one point. Yeah. I didn't want to play it. Uh, after the fall, uh, that was the one where it was uh, really cold and there were zombies. The the snow area is another you know another action shooter one of those. for VR. Uh, Blaston, uh, it's got an update for a campaign. I've never played it. it looks neat though. It's okay. um, a little arcadey like boxer shooter game. Demeo, Realm of the Rat King. I told you nothing about it. It's a very you know little teeny teaser for something that comes out in like three weeks yeah what are you doing sniper elite vr and then the bullet goes real slow and then it like hits him in the head and then it <laughs> and then it um you get the mortal combat yeah actually thing. that's a good way to put it um nerf ultimate championship what a like weird tease for a nerf game they were so secretive about it it's, yeah. it's nerf or nothing and we got nothing yeah uh, and then finally, uh, they ended on a township tale, which seems so just okay. Am yeah, I crazy. It like it. I don't know. I I can't. I I can't picture it. I guess I gotta play that one. I I don't know. Yeah, upload VR. Like it did have like a little bit of uh, awkward dialogue in between mm -hmm. some of these. Um, really awkward. Uh, as a show, I'm like B plus. I would I would give it a C minus. I would say C minus. C minus. Okay. Like there, Put it on the board. There weren't any like killer apps or anything. There no. wasn't anything like amazing, but there was some stuff there that I was genuinely very interested to play. Um, all right. Uh, next we got our PC gaming showcase. Uh, the entire PC gaming showcase was um, intercut with this skit where they're in space on a space station and the robots getting mad at them and Frankie Ward was there and Frankie I'm, Ward! And I'm told she's a person who does things. So the, the presentation and the like sponsorships and the gimmick around it was so just pedestrian and stilted that this is like, don't blame us too much. <laughs> we, skipped that. we skipped over all of that. It was also, PC games. I yeah. mean, like, it's where you beta test real consoles, you know? Um, nor opened with Naraka Blade Point, which looked kind of neat. Oh, yeah. A little action samurai game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dodgeball Academia, which looked I, very neat. That was cool. I, I, I am oh. in. That looks... Dodgeball RPG? Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it kind of had a, like... Uh, golf story. It had that yeah, kind of vibe. Okay, the okay, the okay. bright colors, the treating of sports with RPG mechanics, and that like kind of cute art style. I think that was neat. Mm. Um, Chivalry 2 and Ramen we saw again. We've uh, had opinions on those before, and we will continue to have them. Uh, Dying Light 2. Let's keep it rolling. Uh, Humankind featuring Frankie Ward. 
Frankie Ward. <laughs> I still don't know who that is. Um, Linda Ronstadt. Okay. Uh, then they always run that futuristic bounty hunter kind of game. That was kind of alright. Yeah, yeah, I really the animation like, was cool. The animation was so like smooth. I've seen a lot of action Metroidvanias, but there was something just the way it looked. It just had like that extra spice, a yeah. little bit of style that. It's a little, little pinch. Um, Orcs Must Die Three. It is the third game in the Orc Orcs Must Die franchise. Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. That was weird. I was very confused. I have vampire, but also much baby. You know, I'm like, that was it. Yeah. Strange. This is why you don't, uh, vampires don't turn children. They become forever children. <laughs> <laughs> that is a reference to our real life. Uh, Gigabash. That was, um... <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> was that the kaiju, like, Godzilla fighter? I thought that was... Oh, God. I thought that D2 was Blockbuster VR. What? Maybe they both were. <laughs> no, I, I thought there was one in this one, too. Oh, well. Yeah. Sorry about that. Throw up a screenshot, future Dustin. Yeah. Uh, Lemnis Gate. I don't know what that's about, and I don't, I don't think care. they knew what it was about. It was very, it was very awkwardly marketed. Uh, Next Space Rebels. Um... I mm. I just put fuck you Elon Musk specifically <laughs> because like it's all about like communists wanting to go to space. Yep. It's just mm. just like no space is for everyone. I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space. You know, it, in the stars, man. Really Fire. weird. Really weird. Next. Um, War Tales. A game where you are a band of mercenaries. It's like a strategy RPG. Looks fine. Um, Ixion. Buy our game, Elon Musk specifically. Yeah, that's true. It was hyper targeted at him. Except for at the very end when they just blew up the moon. I don't know what that's about. Stay tuned. Yeah, as I say, give Elon time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, far. Changing Tides. Uh, it looked neat. You got your little protagonist going around exploring. Had, I think it was like a propeller diving it was one helmet of those ones thing. Where I, I like nodded and was like, "That's an indie game." Yep. Uh, Lakeburg Legacies. Okay. <laughs> what do you describe this as? It's not a dating sim per se. It's no. a like family legacy sim. Yeah, like if you ever play Rogue Legacy, imagine that, but without any combat. Yeah, just. Fucking and Marion and I, I, I don't know I was I was confused. I, I thought there, there there's like a management sim part of it too where I think you manage your family's okay. assets and okay and stuff like that. Um, Interstellar Insanity, which is the mode for Killing Floor Two, I did not know that, so I wrote them in the reverse <laughs> order. You're right. Uh, Killing Floor Two in space. Yeah, it's an okay game. I got bored with it. Uh, there Take was a Charles. long uh, Mech Warrior Five showcase. <laughs> Neither of us are Mech Warrior fans. Uh, I'm sure Mech Warrior fans got a lot out of that. Steel Battalion did. for life! We did not. Um, Silt. That was kind of neat. That was neat looking. It, it had a really neat aesthetic. You know, there's a, there's like 50 black and white games. But of them, I think that was the one that looked the most unique. Yeah, okay. It, it just you had... possess fish. Yeah, you can possess <laughs> fish. You're, it's wild. Um... Hello Neighbor and Jurassic World Evolution 2 both yeah. showed up again. Sure. Um, new Blood game reel and a Steam Next Fest game reel. Just two big sizzle reels of uh, lots of indie games coming out. Um, that really jumped out to me. You? Yeah, it, it just, you know, it was indie a sizzle games, reel. Indie games, so many indie games. <laughs> I could tell I'm a bark because there's so many indie games. Uh, Solstice. Which one was Solstice? That was that, um, that was that action game where you had the girl with the giant sword and yeah. you were fighting it, it made me think of final fantasy 7 remake maybe it was just the big ass yeah, flat sword okay okay um but it had that sort of 3d action game vibe it looked all right uh chaos gate demon hunters from the war Hammer 40k universe next p p all pioneer 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 that there's a little floaty girl on a 
island, everything was in Russian. I, I it looked okay. It I looked think. all right. I, I, there was some neat stuff in it, but overall, for me, it's just. I like the pass. other three games about Chernobyl more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah, it, it uh, had similar vibe to other games that yeah. did it better. Um, Eve Online got some new information. We don't play that. Lumber Hill. Um, I like the title of the game. Next. The rest of it. Eh. Arborea. Two, 3D roguelite in tree roots. Are we roots. boring ya? Okay. <laughs> you know what? Just for that, I'm not going to read anything. We're, gonna just, we're just going to sit here in silence. Tiny Kim. All right. Oh, I like this one. I like this one too. This one's cool. It's like Pikmin, but it also does that 2D, 3D thing. And um, man, I don't know. It had a lot going on. It's like a crazy platformer. The world looked really cool. It's not coming out till next year, but yeah. uh, you are on my radar. It made me think of Chibi Robo as well. Speaking yeah, okay, that's classic fair. Classic GameCube that's fair. games. Uh, Chernobylite again. Uh, yeah. Then Sacrifier. Which uh, was kind of like uh, IUN Chronicles. It yes. was that HD, 2D HD you were RPG. More into that one than me. There's something about it that I didn't really care for, but I was mostly into it because Matoy Sakuraba is doing the music. All right. I like Golden Sun. Uh, they do have good music. And Baten Kaitos. Uh, Had good music. Uh, Icarus. <gasps> Next. Mecha Jammer. That was that cyberpunk isometric uh, action game where you could like get recruit people. Yeah, sure. It's like a shadow run kind of deal. I, no, no thank you to me for me. I was a bit warmer on that one than you, but yeah. yeah. Um Wandering Village and Death Trash made appearances again. Sure. Yeah, eh. Um <laughs> Fair. Songs of Conquest. Um, it's one of those, I don't know, it made me think of Ogre Battle for some reason. Let us cling together. Yeah. Well, that's Tactics Ogre. That's different. <gasps> oh, shit. Uh, Ogre Battle, Person of Lordly Caliber for the N64. Um, it looked all right. Mm. Uh, combined that, like, management sim RPG kind of deal. Um, Citizen Sleeper. Huh. I was kind of into it. It, it was... Very Interesting. strange. Very strange. I, 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 I would need to see more. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not throwing it out yet. Yeah. I. I like those kind of narrative-driven games where like your choices matter, but I. I want to know more about like the world. I guess. Yes. And then uh, finally, Project Warlock Two was a game. And the the show just ended. It was the first time we didn't have that like one more thing or some kind of finale. It just was like done. So. Um, in terms of games, they showed a really big range of games. But and... I don't think it was as good as several of the other shows. Yeah. Um, I, I'm D thinking... plus overall? Yeah, D plus overall. Maybe I didn't just like a the solid... presentation. It, it didn't have as many big things. But again, we are talking about 5,000 games this weekend. Yeah. There's more shit to come. Save us. We're so tired. We're so tired. And I think that's it for tonight. Peace. <laughs> See ya.